chair makes a funny noise. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, so la. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and I hope you're all in the best of health. God, I feel like I haven't said that in the longest time. It's been literally almost two months, I think, since I've uploaded anything on YouTube. There was just so much going on and so much happening in my life that I needed that break. And honestly, I feel great. I'm glad that I took the break that I did. I was kind of off Instagram as well on all other social media, especially when it came to creating content. And the reason behind this is I moved. I've been getting a lot of questions about this, like, are you living there? Are you moving out of your home? Do you still live with your family? Is your studio an apartment? Well, to answer those questions, I'm not moving out of my home. I still live in my home. Thank God, alhamdulillah. I actually have this space that I rent out to work and it's kind of like another house for me. It's like a home away from home type of thing because it's not just a studio, it's a lounging area. It's it's my wardrobe, it's like where I change my clothes, where I do my makeup, where I film. It's everything in one place. I had another studio before. I was there for about four to five years. It was the best decision I ever made. Alhamdulillah, everything's been so smooth, but it's just taken me so long to kind of move out and then move in here because you guys don't understand the amount of stuff I accumulate in my studio. For me personally anyway, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm so comfortable with a space and when I feel like it's being uprooted, I just feel so anxious and I feel like I just needed that time to just focus on making things happen and sorting things out. I had to go through a whole journey with this move and get rid of a lot of stuff and Alhamdulillah, honestly, I cannot thank God enough. I just feel really blessed right now and I'm grateful for all of you guys who've been supporting me even though I've been very absent. This space has given me the biggest motivation to start filming again like consistently for YouTube and I'm hoping to upload, to start with uploading once a week at least. So today's video, I'm giving you a tour of the studio. Now, I remember when I had my other studio, you guys were always asking me, give us a tour, do a tour video, show us your room. And I was just never, I just never felt that inspired by the room to create a video about it. Like with this, with this room, I feel like I've put a part of me into it. The other room, I think it was, it was just, I would just put things the way they were just because. It wasn't because I had a connection, but I feel like with this room, I've literally put a part of me into the room and I've designed it in a way that really stimulates happiness and motivation in me. Like whenever I walk into this room, I just feel happy, I feel motivated, I feel grateful, I feel... And those are the feelings I want when I move, when I come into a space like this. I also got a few like links and stuff and information in the description box of where I got certain things and if you have any questions about anything else please let me know in the comments below as always and please 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 I urge you to subscribe and put the notification button on just so you know every time I upload from now on which will be a lot more consistent but yeah just bear with me I'm literally I feel like I'm a new youtuber anyway I know I'm gonna get questions I have an IGTV video of this makeup look on Instagram so Go and check it out, the link is in the bio. Um, description box. There's one thing I forgot to mention when I was filming the tour. The flooring is from a shop on Coventry Road in Birmingham. A lot of you guys have been asking me about the flooring. I have mentioned the name and everything in the description box. This room is still a work in progress. I'm the sort of person who, I like a change every now and then. So there's always things I'd like to change, I'd like to improve, I'd like to work on. And if there's anything you see in the room, in the tour, that you feel like, happy, but you should do this or you should change this, please let me know. And yeah, let's get to it.
gonna start you guys at the door. So this is my main door. The most exciting thing are these hooks that I got from Amazon. I will put the links for them in the description box and you just stick them on, no damage on the door. Shoe shelf, but it's also a snack shelf. But basically, no one is allowed to go into my room with their outdoor shoes. So outdoor sho shoes go in here and then you can wear some slippers because this floor gets stained super easily. Snacks here. Just for guests and if I'm feeling a bit of a nibble. I'm trying to add a bit more blues to the room and I'm gonna, you're going to see in a minute. Even though the theme is mainly green. But I do want to add a bit of blue in it. So I've kind of added that for the aesthetic. But next we have one of my real plants. I had this for a couple months now. It's been at home but I thought I'd transfer it here. And I've got the water spray in here so I can spray it keep it moist this is my fridge this is one of the favors i got for my niece's birth and my auntie in brazil made these how adorable anyway so let me show you what's in my fridge I drink water i've only got some fizzy drinks for guests and i've got a bit of snacks i've got some hummus and olives there and i've got some apples and sauces for food and i've also got some skincare I've got some of these eye patches, which I haven't used before yet, but I'm going to try them out at some point. I love this fridge. I think I got it from Curry's probably three to four years ago, and it's always been good to me. Most of my furniture is from Ikea. This chest of drawers is accessories, nails, and then just skincare. Skincare and body care and hair care. Everything is in this drawer. And I've got some face towels here. I don't know where to put them. This is where they ended up. I absolutely love these towels. They're from Ikea. They're beautiful and the color is just this is the blue that i want to have in this room like i said i will talk about that in a minute once we go around the room um so here we have a shelf that was supposed to be floating on the wall but i ended up leaving here and i kind of like it here to be fair so i've got a painting my friend made for me which i really really love it's so beautiful and the colors are just perfect with the room got some candles there i'm just leaving it on the candles for now because i'm not using them yet here i've got a cute little frame it doesn't really stand very well but that's all right because i'm going to be replacing it soon with something else i'm just waiting to find a few pictures that i want to frame probably childhood pictures family pictures and i got these two frames from ikea by the way got some decorative pieces here i've got my youtube award got some beautiful candles i got from H&M home. I just love the whole lemon print theme plant from Amazon. I've got two of them. I'm going to show you the other one in a minute. And I don't really know how to like put it in the room because in the picture it was in a pot, but they didn't sell the pot with it. So I just kind of just left it there. I don't know. Do you guys think it looks nice or do you think I should change it or do you think I should put it in a pot? So I actually have put one of these in the bathroom. Absolutely love this. It smells amazing. It's like two pounds from Boots, by the way. And I've got some candles behind there. I've got way too many candles in this room. My ceiling is quite high here, which I love. So I've got a lot of space to like put these up and they just, they just look gorgeous. I love them. Okay, now onto this section, which is probably one of my favorite areas in this room. And these are my Alex drawers from Ikea. They're amazing. I would definitely recommend them. And this is where I store all of my makeup, my makeup brushes, and a little bit of perfumes here actually that didn't make the display. This display, I absolutely love. I bought this wooden tray from H&M Home. So I've got this fake plant, this is from Dunham. I love the pebble effect. I think it just adds something to this section. I don't know if you noticed, but each one, each tabletop has like a different vibe. So this one's more like the earthy, natural vibe. Um, I'm not going to talk you through my perfumes because I'm going to actually do a video soon about fragrance and everything because a lot of you guys are always asking me about that. But um, here are just a display of some of the fragrances that I like. I love anything that smells good. For me, smell is everything. And a little reminder, what you seek is seeking you. And it says Bismillah I've had this one as well for a long time. I think I was gifted this. But I just love it. And like I said, my room, black and gold, is, is definitely part of the aesthetic. Moving on to the side of the room, which is all about outfits. First of all, I've got this shelf with all my heels. These are all the heels I didn't get rid of. And I've got a little scarf display here. And these are just my scarves that I use in the room that I'll probably need to reach out for at some point when I'm filming. Very useful for me. And then we come to this side of the room, which is basically going to be where I film my outfit video stuff. So all of my try-on hauls, my um, IGTV, 
outfit videos, everything. This space, I've made sure that it's completely free and there's no designs on the wall, there's nothing on the walls. Everything is empty just for that because I wanted it to be super clean so I don't have to worry about like changing the decor or anything. Clothing rail I got from Ikea and I had it in my other studio. I wanted to get rid of it when I came here but then I decided to just leave it. So this one is a new one I got from Ikea. It's kind of like a clo clothing rail but it's a little bit different. It has a bit of space for stuff um, and like hooks which I thought was really cute. Also nice to have in my videos. So probably if I'm having, if I'm filming with this in the frame, I won't have that in the frame and vice versa. But I still think both of them can be really useful. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm still thinking about the matter. The same mirror that I had in my other studio, which I want to get rid of, but I still haven't found a replacement. So once I do, I will. I wanted to get a really big mirror and have it on the wall here, but... It just didn't happen. Okay, so this is my other real plant. This is my beautiful Robin. I call her Robin, and I think her name was Robin on the website that I bought it from. But Robin has a very sad story. This is a rubber plant, by the way. On her way to me, Hermes decided to disfigure my baby. Look at this, please, it's so sad. There's a lot of damage on her. Thankfully, um, where I got it from, they gave me a refund, but I was really still upset to see this. What do you guys recommend? As, as I said before guys, I'm a new plant mum, I don't know all about this stuff. I'm just spritzing her with water every now and then, make sure she's getting like, indirect sunlight. Um, what do you guys think I should do about this? Should I cut off the leaves, the damaged leaves, or should I just leave them? What do you think? I want to talk about these hangers for a second because I've got 50 for £20 on Amazon. I will put the link in the description box. These are so beautiful. And they're very sturdy. Okay, so this is my second door. And this door leads to my bathroom. And I actually have a shower here, which is really fun. And I have a kitchen. In this little corner between the wall and my wardrobe, I have my Hoover. I love this Hoover. My sister recommended I get this. It was so cheap. It was like £70. It's Morphe Richards Hoover. And it's really strong. And it's just so useful for me. I don't really need anything um, heavy duty in this room. Like, I need something very simple that's just gonna clean up. That's it. So yeah, I've been loving it so far. Okay, so this is my wardrobe, guys. And this is like the perfect corner for the wardrobe. I got this from Ikea. I was really lucky, actually, because they don't sell this wardrobe on Ikea anymore. And I believe this wardrobe is around 60 pounds, which is such a bargain. Storage boxes, one with books and one with bags. And then we are moving on to my filming station. I got my desk from Ikea. I bought the desktop and the legs separately. I just put them together. I've got my mic. I've got my chair. I got this chair from Wayfair. I got this from Amazon. It's just a little trolley situation because I really needed something that I can just stick things in that I need for my videos and filming or whatever because obviously my desk doesn't have any storage or drawers. And then I can just like go to my makeup drawers pick up some makeup, put them in here, and bring them to my desk. Right here, as you can see, I have some stuff. I've just got like things that I may need just before filming, like skin prep and wipes and mirror, and a few bits and bobs that I will probably always need. Here I have floating shelves, that, which I got from Ikea as well. Everything is from Ikea in this room. I got these little plants from Ikea, these three. I got that little zebra from Dunelm. And I got that from Dunham, that diffuser, which smells amazing. You're probably wondering why I have two tripods. So this one is my like camera tripod. And this one is for phone. So TikToks and everything, I film using this tripod. And then I have this little unit here, which is all my tech stuff. So literally all tech camera equipment. This is my lounge area. I'm gonna start with this plant here. This is from Ikea. And then I got the, this plant pot from H&M Home. That bin, I believe, is from Dunham. I had that from my old room. And this is my lounge area, guys. This area, this section, is literally the most beautiful little space ever. Like, I absolutely love it. This is my pride and joy, guys. So these chairs I got from Danelle. Love the color of them. Tables from Amazon. My orchid was a gift from my dad. This is another real plant. This ottoman I got many years ago from a small sofa shop in Birmingham, which I can't even remember the name of. But it's very useful because it has storage and I've got a lot of stuff in there. 
um, that shouldn't be out in the open. Throw that I got from Dunelm, which I love. And these pillows, I have most of them are from Dunelm, and these two are from Dunelm. This pillowcase is from H&M Home, and oh my god, guys, how beautiful is this, please? I know there's not a lot of yellow in my room, but I think this works because of the little accents of gold and everything, and the warmth. This just works, and I love toucans. Look how beautiful my toucan is. That plant I had in my other room as well, it's also from Ikea. The plant pot is also from Ikea. This entire unit is from Ikea, and I love this. I had it in my other room, but it was so messy that you wouldn't see how nice it looks. These are the little drawers. I actually bought them separately, which you can like put in to the shelves. Very, very useful. If you need a bit of storage in the room like me, I definitely need storage wherever I can have it, I need it. I got these little handles from Amazon and I kind of just changed the handles because they were silver before. Probably going to get another one and maybe put it here or here. That's my towel, which I got with the face towels from Ikea as well. I love the colour of this. I'm actually looking for more like ornaments and stuff that are in this Corbett blue colour. My favourite colours ever. I've got this skin to frame that someone gifted me that I absolutely love. Gucci candle frame with a lovely quote. Got a little book there. Um, that one is empty for the time being, but I'm gonna do something about it at some point. I've got this globe I got from Amazon. This is just from Jo Malone and it just works perfectly. There's little candles in here. But it works perfectly with this room. And I also got this Lema gift box, which actually I should be using as storage, but I love it. It just goes with the room again. This beautiful lamp is from Ikea. I got this not long ago. And as well as this vase with these fake leaves. This one is from Dunelm. This, I can't remember where I got it from. I try and always put like motivational phrases just to motivate me to work when I come here. If you know me, you know my, I have a little obsession with zebras. I love zebras so much. And I've got some fake greenery in there, which I believe are from Dunelm. Both of them are from Dunelm. I think I've mentioned everything. I have this space here. Remember when I was saying that I want more things that are like blue, like cobalt blue? I'm hoping to find a nice painting or paint something myself. This space, I want something that has like accents of that cobalt blue, tiny bit of green and a little bit of gold. Still figuring it out, but once I do, I will let you guys know and I will share things with you always, of course. I got this clock from Amazon. When I come here, I feel such a sense of calmness and peace. And that's exactly what I wanted for this room. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really, really, really appreciate your love and support. Please comment down what you think about the room. Is it your kind of aesthetic or not? Please make sure you follow my social media. All of it is in the description box. So check it out. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.